week, uh, obviously uh, having a game on, on the road, play against the Colorado State team that's, uh, I think, much improved from last year. Uh, although they have a new coach, I think they've got some uh, really good players in there. And uh, they've got five guys seem like scoring in double figures. And, of course, there are a lot of new players, just like we have a lot of new players. They're still continue to trying to find their identity with their team. So, But it's the first – True road game for us, and and I'm anxious to see how we how we respond. You know, where we go to a place where we don't sleep in our own bed, and uh, we're playing in a different venue. And uh, and as a coach, you want to see the game will travel. Will your defense travel? Will your offense have execution? The things we've been working on will that travel? Uh, rebound is going to be a big key, I think, in this game here. And uh, can we continue to get the product, the productivity off our bench? I think that's been a big key. I think we got some guys that are starting to really, you know, figure out their roles, and I think that continues to make us a better basketball team. So it's uh, it's a quick turnaround uh, having to go and play against Colorado State, but uh, uh, we look forward to the opportunity. Look, look forward to the challenge. Hey, uh, Mike, uh, Isaiah. He beat you, Bob, uh, oh, Nate. He beat you. He beat you. Sorry, okay. Yeah, yeah I couldn't let it happen two times in a row. Yeah. Um, hey, Isaiah Joe is SEC, not fresh from the week, he was SEC Player of the Week. What's what's your thoughts on that? I guess I'm reflecting back on his game, was there anything you saw on the film that, you know, impressed you even more? He just he played well. I thought he played a uh, all-around well game. You know, and of course, everyone, you know, you draw raves because you scored. He shot, made ten threes, and that's been been a while since somebody did that. Uh, he got going in that zone, and uh, and you know when you go in, get in that zone, playing against uh, FIU, where you're getting up and down the floor, you're gonna get lost on that floor. But our guys did a good job of finding him, and he did a great job of knocking shots down. Uh, but uh, kudos to him. Uh, that's what happens when you win. You know, you're the individual uh, awards. Uh, come in so uh, congratulations to him but it's just one game and uh, I'm happy for him I guess Doobie plays for uh, Colorado State is it surprised you see him be a, a starter and, and play as much as he has well, he played last year he came out here and played out here last year uh, Doobie's a, he's a good player uh, and uh, and I'm sure he'll be fired up for this game here playing against some guys that you know uh, uh, that you know he, he came in with I, I don't know if Adro was here when he came in here, but uh, we signed him late, and, uh, and obviously it didn't work out. But now he's found a home, and uh, and I'm sure he's excited to uh, to play against the Razorbacks. Eighty. Uh, what kind of pace do they like to play with? And then uh, you know playing in a different different venue altitude than what you're normally playing. Well, looking at their team, I think they want to play uh, anywhere from medium to up tempo. I think they push the basketball. They got. Uh, perimeter guys that can really knock the shots down. They got a big guy that was there last year that played for them, and uh, this coach encouraged them to uh, to get the ball up the floor and get into to early offense and attack the glass. Uh, uh, have some pretty good athletes on that basketball team, so uh, <clears throat> I, I think it'll be a good ball game. It's a good test for us. I think for our basketball team, it's, it's going to be a good test. 121 points. It's a lot of points. So what was working so well on offense for you guys, and how can you carry that forward? Well, you had two teams that like to get up and down the floor, and uh, I guess we made more field goals than they did. Uh, we both got to the free throw line quite a bit. Uh, I, we, we made shots. Uh, I thought we established inside with Daniel, and, and I thought that really got us going. I mean, our first three baskets were dunks between Daniel and Adriel. And I thought the confidence, our guys confident, you know, they, they got really going. And we did a great job of sharing the basketball. Uh, whether they made or missed, we got the ball pushed down the floor. And uh, uh, we're starting to learn to trust each other. I think that's what you're seeing. I think you're seeing us trust each other, uh, making the, uh, the extra pass. Uh, I mentioned that the other night. Uh, guys turning down, you know, very good shots for great shots. Uh, and so they just kind of we'll, we'll learn each other. I think our defenses continue to be the constant. You know, uh, although you wouldn't know that, you know, with such a big lead, you know, sometimes you have some uh, it, it lacks a little bit. But for the most part, I thought our defense, you know, in terms of holding the field goal percentages down, uh, creating turnovers, uh, scoring off our defense, uh, and our bench, 
Uh, I think our bench is really starting to come on. Uh, Desi gave us some great minutes coming off the bench. Gabe gives us great minutes. Uh, Reggie Cheney, although he got in foul trouble, I thought he gave us some good minutes. And Keyshawn. Uh, so we got guys that are coming off that bench that are really contributing. And we're seeing Jordan Phillips get more and more comfortable out there on the floor. Uh, all around. I think the other night he had like three assists and maybe one turnover or none. And on the season, he's legion steals and he's third in assists. Um, could you expound a little bit on his all around game? And then also, um, you know, he seems like you say, he seems like a humble kid. Do you think like he won't get the big hit after getting SEC Player of the Week, or how do you think he'll react to that? Uh, he's you know, everyday Joe. He just just does what he's supposed to do each and every day. Come out and work hard and. Um, uh, he's grounded. Uh, I think that's – and I go back to his his upbringing and even as he's gotten here. I mean, he just comes in and come with his lunch pail every day, come to work. Uh, but when you talk about the all-around game, I just – I think fundamentally he's sound. He can handle the basketball. I mean, he can play the point position. And that's what you see him. Uh, I'm comfortable with him bringing the ball up the floor. Uh, Obviously, he knows how to use screens and come off screens, and now he's learning how to get down the floor and get lost in transition because people are paying a lot of attention to Daniel. And he can put it on the floor as well, and he's a willing passer. Uh, he, he gives it up, makes nice passes. So, uh, again, he, he don't have to try to go get the game. I think that's the beauty of it. Even when you watched him the other night, he did not have to go get it. It just came to him, and he took the good shots, and he was making them. And uh, if you're not making them, then you do other things, and that's, uh, that's a mark of a good player. And uh, uh, So I'm just glad he's playing for us. Scotty at the Burlesworth uh, Trophy luncheon today. He said Isaiah kind of reminds him of when he was a freshman. And obviously, Scotty's, you know, he's been on the staff when Bobby broke his scoring record and then Isaiah matched it. Well, what do you remember about um, Scotty as a freshman? Do you see similarities between his game and, and Isaiah's game? Uh, you, you, well, I think from the game, just the demeanor. I think that their demeanor. You know, Scotty was a very, very confident guy. You know, but Scotty would like to talk. You know, he didn't talk to y'all, but he used to talk now on the floor. Uh, but Scotty was fundamentally sound. Um, he's one of those guys that, you know, uh, everybody kind of looked over, really. And, uh, and I thought he had confidence in himself. And I think Isaiah presents that. A uh, guy that can put it on the floor, he can score. Um, he can do more than just shoot the basketball. That's why you hear Scotty always say, you know, I want to be known more than just the shot. You know, uh, Scott was a tremendous passer as well. Uh, but we know his strength was he could shoot the basketball. And I think with Isaiah, he's, he's – uh, there's I can see some similarities there. I just think they're just uh, – they're not no ego guys. And uh, they just uh, – they play to win. And I know uh, El Paso is a neutral floor, although that was in Texas, obviously. But how do you think that experience – could help you guys going to Colorado State, and what sort of things do you think you a young team has to do on the road? Because um, there'll probably be some adversity, you know, Wednesday night. I, I think that's the big word there, adversity. You know, how do you handle adversity when it comes? Uh, whether they come out emotionally and and hit you in the mouth, uh, you got to be ready to hit back. Uh, but I think you got to uh, continue to do the things that are. Uh, got you in the position you are right now where you're being successful. We just want to go out and get better. Uh, but hopefully that experience in El Paso will come back to, uh, to, to, to help us in terms of uh, even in that game we got down, uh, but we continue to, 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 to stay uh, to the game plan and, uh, and we're in position to win the game. Uh, knowing the game's going to come down to a free throw, it may come down to a uh, one possession, a charge, or a uh, loose ball. Uh, so we just want to be in position to hang around. You got to shoot the ball well. You got to shoot it. You got to keep them off the free throw line. You got to get on the free throw line as much as they do. You, you got to take care of the basketball. Uh, and as I said, we got to rebound the basketball. And uh, hopefully, you know, uh, the guys starting out can play well. Our bench has got to play well. So again, I'm just looking for energy and effort. That's all. Continue to build on what we've been. Uh, doing here and see if see if our game can travel. I, I think that's the biggest thing. You go out and and your game travels. Hey, Coach, I think Reggie tweaked his ankle. I think it was his left ankle the other night. Is there an update on him? Uh, is he going to be ready to go Wednesday? I hadn't talked to Dave at all. So, but I, I imagine you know yesterday was an off day, so they had a chance to nurse all the injuries, the tweaks, whatever it is. And so I haven't gotten a report that. He'll be he will be in practice today, so he'll be ready to play. Oh, I'm sorry.
Mike, is their new coach? I think it's Medved. I don't know, I have it in front of me. But do, do you know their their new coach at all or anything about him? I, no, I didn't. I just kind of briefly looked at his uh, his resume, and of course, he was. I think his last stop was at Furman. Uh, not Drake. I'm sorry, he's at Drake. But I think he was at Furman, and so uh, so he's he's done a great job. I remember at Drake, uh, they were one of the surprise teams in the Missouri Valley while he was there. Uh, so, but I just see those kids. They're they're playing hard. They're playing together. Uh, he brought in some new players with them. So, uh, I'm sure they'll be ready to play. Uh, just you know, having a you know Arkansas come there, and, and then some of those guys played here last year. Uh, so, but I, in terms of him personally, I don't know him personally, but I've I've seen his teams play. I know this is kind of part of the football deal and everything. So, you know, I bet they don't get an SEC team or maybe a Power Five team out there very often at their place. How, yeah, how big a deal do you think that is for them, and how stoked that, that place will be for Arkansas to come in? Uh, you know, I, I always think, you know, you know, if, if it's like us, every game's a big game. So I'm sure it's it's a game on their schedule, and uh, and I think they, they feel they're playing well. They feel they're playing well. At, uh, so it's, it's an opportunity for us to go and play uh, somewhere we hadn't played. You know, I hadn't. As a coach, hadn't played at Colorado State before, so uh, it's the next opportunity. So I'm sure they'll be looking forward to it. The fans and and uh, and I'm sure the players even more so. Slightly off topic, but did you have a chance to watch or see any highlights of Justice Hill's performance uh, yesterday? I just saw some glimpses of it. Uh, and uh, congratulations to Justice out there. So they 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 won a state championship and. Uh, Man, I tell you what, he's I call a baller, man. You just you put a ball in his hand, he just makes some things happen. So I was I was happy for him. You know, I know he's been really consuming it. I haven't kind of left hadn't talked to him in, in in probably a couple of weeks because I wanted him to just stay focused on what he was doing there. So uh but uh evidently uh from all the reports I've heard, uh, he played well. All right, thank you guys.